Hi, welcome back to UAT Solutions. Today's tutorial we will learn about oxyacetylene welding. Oxyacetylene welding or gas welding is a common method of joining two metals. The oxyacetylene welding combines oxygen and acetylene gas to provide a high temperature flame for welding. The chemical reaction between acetylene and oxygen is exothermic in nature. It can be uses of all types of brazing. Let's understand the working principle of gas welding. In oxyacetylene welding process, a mixture in proper proportion of such as acetylene and oxygen is burnt to get the flame. The flame can be used to melt metals or join two metals together. A filler metal is used normally called filler rod can be made of cooper, silfs, brass, silver as per metal which is being welded. Equipment of an oxyacetylene welding set are as follows. 1. Oxygen gas cylinder. Are regularly tested of leakages and rust. 2. Acetylene gas cylinder are filled with a very porous substance called monolithic filler to prevent large pockets of pure acetylene from forming. 3. Oxygen pressure regulator used to monitor cylinder pressure and control the pressure at the outlet. 4. Acetylene pressure regulator used to, to monitor cylinder pressure and control the pressure at the out. Let 5. Hoses blue and red or can be green and red. 6. Welding torch. 7. Filler roads 8. Flashback arresters to prevent reverse flow of flame. Welding method. A rule of thumb for average cooper pipes under sizes 1 inches. Oxygen should be set at 25 psi and acetylene at 10 psi. It depends on the type of metal and size of metal which pressure values are to be set. Here are three types of welding flames explained for different metals and thickness. 1. These flame contain excess of acetylene. It is suitable for application requiring low heat like monel metal, nickel, high carbon steel, and many of non-ferrous. 2. Neutral flame. If acetylene and oxygen are present in equal proportion, then natural flame is produced. For most welding operation, neutral flame is used. 3. Oxidizing flame. If flame has high oxygen content, then oxidizing flame is produced. Such flames are used to weld cooper and cooper alloys. This flame cannot be used for steel welding because it oxidizes the steel. There are two ways of handling welding torch. 1. Forehand technique is relatively used in thin metal. The torch point in the same direction that weld is being done so that the heat is not flowing into the metal as much as it could. The tip of torch is held 45 degree angle which directs some of the heat away from metal. 2. Backhand technique is used on heavier or thicker base metal. Torch point in the direction opposite to that in which the weld is being done. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and share us at UA Technical Solutions.